Hi everybody, JJ here at Newegg Studios. And with the recent launch of the X299 chipset, along with the latest generation Skylake X series of CPUs and the KB Lake X series of CPUs, we've decided to go ahead and put together an awesome high performance build to give you guys a little bit of insight into ultimately what you can do when you pair this awesome chipset with an ASUS series set of hardware and some awesome uh, additional PCDIY components to ultimately bring together a very high end water cooled gaming PC. The look I was going for was really to kind of have a fresh, distinctive feel to the system. And so we gone ahead with the classic green and black styling, which I think looks awesome. We've also thrown the accent color in terms of silver, which I think really complements in providing a nice secondary contrast color. So of course that's first set off by this beautiful Fantex Evolve ATX chassis. Now this is their tempered glass version as it allows us to have a really premium look and finish to the build. As you can see, we've got a custom water cooling setup in this and really the Fantex Entho Evolve really lends itself to a lot of flexibility when you go about decking it out with different types of storage configurations as well as different type of water cooling setups with nice touches as you can see the shroud for the PSU section and for your cables as well as of course tightly integrated cable routing options. So let's go ahead and take off this tempered side glass panel and take a closer look at our build. So at the core of our system here, we can see that we've got an awesome ASUS ROG Strix X299-E gaming. So this is a really great looking board. You can see that we've got two RGB zones on the board right here, one in the center, that's the ROG holographic uh, RGB zone, and then we have another on the Strix IO shroud, which gives us some nice accent lighting. Now, of course, to be able to give us even a little bit more accent lighting throughout, we're also leveraging the ASUS Aura headers that are built on board. There's two of them, one here at the top and another down here at the bottom. And we can go ahead and connect things such as the actually integrated lighting that is on our Fantec Entho Evolve uh, ATX chassis, as well as an LED strip that we've gone ahead and bundled down here to give us a little bit of underfill lighting to really be able to set up the ROGI down there at the bottom. Now at the core of this build is Intel's latest generation uh, core series processor, the 7900X. So that's a 10 core, 20 thread CPU. And with this system, we have it overclocked to a monster 4.7 gigahertz. And of course, with this great custom water cooling setup and that Fantex block, we're able to keep this overclock nice and cool under gaming loads. So you can see here, of course, we've got some uh, tubing and within that tubing, we've got beautiful coolant there from Mayhem. So this is their pastel mint green with actually just a little bit of their extinction green Aurora. So this gives it a little bit of pearlescence, which you're not necessarily seeing show up there on the video, but absolutely looks awesome. Then of course this ties into an EK 240 millimeter rad, uh, which we have set up with two fans in the front for intake and then a secondary exhaust fan. And from there, that of course ties into a nice uh, PWM driven pump and reservoir combo from EK, allowing us to have a great combination and handling our pump and our res capabilities. And that ties in then of course to the integrated block uh, for our GTX 1080 Ti Strix graphics card. Now, speaking of the Strix GTX 1080 Ti, you can see that we've got a full custom water coverage block on it. So this is also from Fantex, and just like the Glacier Series CPU block, this Glacier Series GTX 1080 Ti block fully supports ASUS Aura Sinks. A really nice thing that also we have with this water block is it has full support for the backplate that comes already included with this Strix GTX 1080 Ti. So these John's Bow fans are their FR331 RGB series. So we've got two in the front here for front intake connected to our radiator. One here serving as an exhaust, three top mounted fans, and then one rear exhaust. Now these fans have also been optimally set up to work with the inlet that's at the top of the chassis to bring airflow directly across the VRM. This is important for a high-end X299 system as the VRM under especially consistent demanding loads can definitely produce a bit of heat. So we want to be able to bring over that airflow directly across the VRM assembly as well as across our memory and even our vertically mounted SSD. Now while these fans don't feature ASUS or synchronization, they do come with a custom hub that we've gone ahead and back mounted that allow you to connect all the fans to it and control the color cycling as well as their speeds. Now in terms of storage, we've got pretty much the fastest SSD that you can get out there. This is Samsung's 960 Pro NVMe 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD. And of course with ASUS ROG series motherboards, we want to optimize not only for performance, but also for airflow when it comes to M.2. So this is in a vertical orientation. So this allows us to get this nice direct airflow from our exhaust fan cooling that drive to be able to maintain it's got great performance. Now for our secondary drive, it's packed directly underneath our ROG logo. And that ROG logo 
is part of that PCH M.2 heatsink, which is definitely helping to actually fully dissipate uh, the heat from that 960 Pro MBME drive. This is a full aluminum heatsink assembly with thermal interface material that makes direct contact to be able to go ahead and dissipate the heat from that drive. Now supplementing these two high performance PCIe M.2 MBME SSDs is of course our storage. So we've got two Samsung 850 EVO one terabyte SSDs. Now with a system like this, especially with the overclock configuration, we need stable and reliable power. So we've tapped pretty much the best of the best. Seasonic's flagship Prime Series PSU. This is an absolutely monster PSU quiet in terms of stability, but even more important is its internal topology and performance and fully modular design. Now for some of the subtle touches that you have in a system that really help to take it to the next level, it's always going to be custom cabling as well as I think some accent lighting and that's what we have from cable mods. So here we've taken advantage of their Seasonic series custom green cables, which absolutely look fantastic and you can see right here we've got for our PCIe power for the graphics card as well as for 24 pin power and our CPU power connection. Add to that, of course, custom touches with even matching SATA green power cables for our Samsung 850 1TB SSDs. So last but not least is going to be the G-Skill Trident Z RGB memory. This is DDR4 3600 megahertz, and you can see it absolutely looks awesome. This RGB memory is fully able to be synchronized with the Asus Aura technology that's built onto this Strix motherboard. Now when that memory speed comes into play, that's another great thing about Skylake X and X299 is we're able to reach these type of frequencies that were traditionally only seen in dual channel configurations. All the way around this 32 gigabytes of 3600 G-Skill Trident Z RGB memory is absolutely awesome for this system. Right up at the top is probably one of the key components of any high-end gaming setup and gaming build is going to be the monitor. So here we've gone with a truly flagship class gaming monitor. It's the ROG Swift PG348Q. This is a beautiful curved display, 34 inches, featuring G-Sync. It's overclockable up to 100 hertz, and it's featuring just a beautiful panel, full range of adjustments in terms of ergonomics, and it absolutely is going to give us a great gaming experience. Now moving over to of course the peripherals, we've got here the ROG Claymore keyboard. So this is a full mechanical RGB keyboard. And one of the great things you can see right here is of course that it's fully synchronized to the rest of our system because with Asus Aura, we're able to go ahead and synchronize all the lighting across all the key components that we have, such as our graphics card, our motherboard, and of course the peripherals. And of course for our mouse here, we've also tapped another ROG set of hardware and that's gonna be with the Gladius 2. This latest generation version features a, of course the classic swap uh, Japanese armor on switches, of course an optical grade sensor, tons of macro customization, and of course that awesome perimeter lighting that fills out the look and feel for our peripherals. All right guys, so that wraps up our overview and quick tour of this awesome water-cooled system that features the Strix X299, Intel 7900X, and GTX 1080 Ti. It's absolutely, I think, awesome system and hopefully you guys seriously enjoy it. If you guys have loved this content, please make sure to hit that mash button and also make sure to subscribe. As always, it's been awesome giving you guys this build overview here at Newegg Studios. So with that, take care, take it easy, and enjoy the rest of your day.